All right, let's talk file management. When we put the SD card into the card reader, we're going to get a little window that pops up that looks like this. Uh, sometimes it might take a couple seconds, but be patient, wait for it. It'll pop up with the removable disk, whatever drive letter it assigns. We want to look and make sure that it is highlighted for open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. Now there are multiple ways to pull your files in. You could use another method such as the import pictures one or the copy pictures, whatever. I'm going to show you guys this way because we have more control of where our, where our files go and we also have control over those uh, the files themselves, the file names. So what I'd like to do is make sure that you scroll down if you don't see it. Scroll down till you find it. Open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. Hit OK. At that time the uh, Windows Explorer window will pop up. You'll see a folder up here that's the DCIM folder. That is where the camera files are. So you double click into that. Then you'll see the camera folder, photo folder. Okay, and then we can see all of all of our files. Now there are multiple ways to pick up those files. Uh, we can hold the control key down and select just the ones we want. I can hold the shift key down and I'll do a string of photos. Okay. I can also use my mouse and I can select some. Okay, whichever method works for you, that's the one you're going to use, go for it. Okay. Now we also the next step we want to make sure that we do see this file and folder task that's off here to the left hand side. If I don't see that and I, instead I see the the actual folders that are showing up, all I have to do is simply click on the folders tab up top and then I see the the file and folder task. Okay, as soon as I select some photos, I'll just pick up a couple here. I can see I have two options. I can either move the selected items or copy the selected items. That's totally up to you. If you want to leave the photos on your camera card and just copy them over, then obviously you're going to choose a copy. If you want to delete them from your camera card, then you're going to select move the selected items. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose copy, so I'll do that. Copy the selected items brings up the copy items window, or if you do the move, it's going to look exactly the same with the exception. It's going to say move items up top. I want to make sure that I am in the My Documents folder. Then I'm going to drop down to the My Pictures folder. And I want to create a folder that has my name. Okay, and I've already created one, but I want to show you guys how to create one. So if I'm looking at uh, creating a new folder, make sure that I'm clicked on my pictures select the one that says make new folder and then I want to type in there do the last name now if somebody else in the class has uh, the same last name then go ahead and put your first initial afterward or in front doesn't matter as long as you have your routine down so it's got your last name and then your first initial and then select it now if you have to go back up for instance, sometimes it, it does say new folder under here, the actual words new folder, and you have to go back in, you have to right click, and then go to rename, and then fill it in. You can always do that from there. Okay, But if it does get it right the first time, that's all good. Okay, You want to make sure that that folder is highlighted before you make the move. Okay, It is highlighted, so now I can just simply come down here and hit copy. Okay, at that time, my files will copy over to that folder. Okay. I can double check that by clicking up here on folders, drop over to my documents, my pictures, and I put them in the Langley J, and they're there. So we're good to go. Okay, That'll maintain good file management. All of our folders, all of our files will be in the right folder. We'll know where to find them all. So we can subdivide those if we want to make folders inside our, our name folder we can do that you guys have, have you can separate those by project you can just have all of your files in there all photography photos you guys decide how you want to do the file management from there but that'll make it easier on us if we're trying to find photos so we know exactly where they are okay the next step in the process we'll look at is uploading them but that takes care of actual good file management